Yeah. I'm just thanking the Lord. 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 He got me through. 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 Everything. Everything. Look, I'm just. Let's go. Shalom alaikum. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High. It's your brother, Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming. Before we get into the video, like the video, comment down below, share the content too. And if you're not a supporter, become a supporter right now. I just advise you to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Now let's get into the video. Man, isn't it such a blessing to be on semen retention, fellas? Isn't it such a blessing to be on semen retention? It's such a blessing to be full of energy, to be full of vitality, to be full of grace. It feels amazing to feel strong but still stoic and remaining peaceful as well too knowing how to have a good time when you're by yourself and even when you're around all the confusion all the chaos all the distractions all the red flags all the plays and the screens you're still positive you still having a ball. You enjoying your day. You enjoying your time. Everything is feeling very euphoric at this point. Especially when you get on a very, very high streak. The days don't even feel like days anymore. It feels like you're flying. Literally, it feels like you're flying. Literally, it feels like you're Neo in the Matrix. <laughs> and I, I want to talk about something right now um, I got up around 3.13 this morning I got into a nice meditation with scripture And just pre-meditating on the actions And the things that I wanted to do throughout the day With the power, the grace With being ordained by the most high and you know i got to the gym around five maybe like five thirty. i went live earlier on my way to the gym just to start off on a good note giving some motivation to the community you know the early bird gets the worm so you know as i got into the gym i started to see a lot of people look so vexed in the morning they look so vexed now i'm not a guy to be so consumed with pre-workout giving myself that instant hit of dopamine on a repetitive basis because i first of all i feel like pre-workouts are not good i'm starting to understand that we can make our own compounds that could increase our blood flow that could give us mental clarity. That could give us all those good things, just natural herbs and, 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 and different vitamins and things of that nature. Like we can create our own things instead of going to these these stores and paying a whole grip just for pre-workout. Early in the morning, you're shooting yourself up with 200 grams of caffeine, but you're still looking pissed off at the world. You're still looking vexed. Now, this is for the men that don't seem retention because ultimately we feel so positive and so uplifting that you can feel everything around you to a very high extent, but it doesn't affect you, right? And you, you observe a lot and you see a lot. And I noticed in the gym, all these dudes, man, they like to act like they pissed off at the world. Like they mad, they come into the gym to lift weights and have a good time, but they looking so pissed off and aggravated, like they didn't even want to come to the gym. 
And I'm at the gym listening to some Marvin Gaye hitting some shoulders. I'm listening to some Sade hitting some shoulders. I'm listening to some Tony Braxton hitting some shoulders. <laughs> 432 Hertz, man. Putting in some work and I'm having a ball. I'm I'm enjoying my workout. While everyone else looks po so pissed off. For the man on semen retention right now that may be struggling, let me tell you this, man. You will be just like these people if you continue to live that foolish life and constantly backsliding back into your old ways, your old, the old destructive patterns. You know, because you're going to be just like those people. Pissed off at the world, anxious, not looking like not looking like the most high is on them. You want the most high to be upon you all the time. You want his grace and his hands to be upon you. You know? And we vibing high. You want to be vibing high. Every man should want to obtain this power that is given to you. This power is given to you. This power is given to you. And you're going to have to go through the trials and the tribulations the test because the most high test is his. The most high doesn't tempt you, but he tests you. To see how bad you want it. And you always have to ask yourself, am I ready? Am I willing? And the answer is yes, you should be ready and you should be willing. <laughs> Man, in the comment sessions, type down right now, I am thankful to have the most high in my life. And I am blessed to be practicing semen retention right now. Comment that down below. You're thankful unto the most high and you're blessed for being on semen retention right now. You know, it's such a blessing to, to be on this practice in this time that we're in right now. You know, you 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 see the way that the world is moving. Everybody's in a rat race. Everybody's fighting to get on the freeway and to get off the freeway. Everyone is fighting to go into self checkout. Everyone is fighting to look better than the other men, and vice versa for the ladies too, trying to look better than trying to outdo the other women too. You got you know people are fighting for food at these restaurants to be the first one to get their food you know they fighting for these things they fighting for just regular things when chaos when when the world put place their agenda on the masses everyone panics and run to the store to go buy out a whole bunch of items canned goods gallons of water you know you look at it like that right when you're not on semen retention, you're so frantic, you're so un, un like uneased. And that's why we continue to say this on this journey. A lot of men got to stay consistent because you're going to get to that point. You're going to get to that peak, man. And your days are never going to feel the same. Your days are never going to feel the same. You're not even going to look the same either. You're going to start looking and feeling supernatural. You're actually going to understand <laughs> more about the most high. Right? Because you're made in his image. So you start feeling that angelic pressure. You start feeling that that angelic force about yourself. You start feeling very angelic because you set apart, you remove the evil and the wickedness out of your life and you're on that straight and narrow path and you're constantly working on yourself. You're constantly becoming a better version of yourself each and every day. 
You're constantly sharpening your lexicon. Iron sharpens iron. You're surrounding yourself around positivity. You're listening to positivity. You're eating positive things too. I, had, I just had me a shot of wheatgrass. Great. Just had me a shot of wheatgrass. It was great. Real good, real good, real good. So this video is coming down to an end, but uh, I want to let y'all know, man, listen. Fight the good fight. Stay on this journey. This journey is beautiful. You want to vibe. You want to put yourself on that right vibration, that right frequency. You want to get the job done. You want to handle your business. And you want to become the best version of yourself, man. You're going to attract the things that you want in this world, right? That's going to that's gonna benefit you. Not the things of the world that's going to destroy you. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're going to attract those things. You're going to attract those finances because the most high cracked that door open for you. So you can get those finances and get those resources, right? That's all That's all we here for. We in a world though, but we're not of the world. The only thing of the world that we that we you know take in is just the resources, you know the roof, <laughs> the clothes, and the food. Everything else is added unto us. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. Thankful for His Son Yahushua for laying His life down for us, man. The Messiah, the Mashiach, man, such a blessing. Hope y'all feeling blessed too. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace. Shalom.